What up BB26 fans? This is your live feed updates for August 1st. There will be spoilers for the HOH in this. Sorry it's late, I was up till like 4 a.m. watching feeds. Just as a reminder, I don't really watch the feeds Thursday daytime before eviction because not a lot goes on, so we'll be starting after the live show. Mackenzie tells Leah it's time for them to start playing the game. t -Core tells Kimo uh, Lisa was really upset when she found out she was leaving at the live vote and she feels bad about this. She says she would have given Lisa a heads up had Lisa not mentioned T-Core's name and possibly getting her out. Tucker tells Kenny that they need to have a one-on-one -on -one later. Joseph, Cam, and Cedric hope that everyone goes with the plan this week, which is to get Angela out, and they hope that Lisa actually did leave with a power. Kenny tells Brooklyn and Cedric that he could not give Angela a vote to stay this week because of how she's treated past house guests and how she had treated Lisa all week. Cedric asked Chelsea her thoughts on both Mackenzie and Leah. Chelsea thinks both the girls would go after Angela this week, but there was a good possibility she would use Cedric and Chelsea as pawns. At about 8.15 p.m. Big Brother time, the feeds go down. They are playing HOH. Feeds do return about 10.30 p.m. Big Brother time, and we find out that Cedric has won HOH. Cedric tells Mackenzie that Angela has to go up, but he is unsure who his other two picks would be and says he will talk to Kenny as possibly going up. Mackenzie tells Cedric that she does have a power. She kind of goes into what it does and says that if she's safe this week and she needs to use it to keep him safe next week, she will. She says she doesn't think Lisa had a power, that she thinks Quinn or Takor has the other one. Cedric tells Chelsea that he's pretty set on who he wants to put up. His only real concern is Mackenzie's power and her closeness to Leah. He thinks if he puts Leah up, Mackenzie will use the power to save her, and then he would have to put up another nominee not realizing it's actually America who is. Chelsea suggests that if Kenny wants to go home, they should just vote him out because they can always get Angela next week. Kenny makes his way to the HOH to have a one-on-one -on -one with Cedric. He does say he wants to go home. He feels like he does not benefit anyone's game by staying. Cedric tells Kenny that he believes that he's some kind of officer or detective. Kenny does confirm this, saying he was a former DEA agent and now a local police officer. And Cedric admits that he was a Marine Intel agent. Later, we find Tucker asking Cedric if Mackenzie had told him anything. Cedric confirms that Mackenzie did tell him about her power. Tucker says Cedric should put Mackenzie up to flush out that power. Cedric calls all the house guests to the living room. They find out that Big Brother is not having any have-nots this week. Tucker finds Joseph and tells him that Quinn has a power and that the power can override the HOH nominees. He does ask Joseph not to say anything to anybody and tells Joseph he's the only one he's told so far. Cedric tells Rubina that he is for sure putting up Angela and Kenny. She wonders about the powers still being in the house. Wonders if Big Brother would tell them if Lisa had a power when she was evicted. She asks Cedric if he plans on trying to flush out any powers. Cedric says, you know, it would depend. She does ask if he will give her a heads up if he plans on putting her up as a pawn. And he says, of course. It's now Angela's turn to talk to Cedric. She says she's super happy for him. She says she doesn't want to go home yet. But she understands that she is the easy target. And says that if Cedric needs to put her up that she does understand. Her only thing is she asks if she can be put up in the beginning. That way she still has two chances to try to save herself in the veto in the arena. Joseph and Cedric have a mini celebration when nobody else is in the HOH room. Joseph asks Cedric what the plan is. Cedric said right now his plan is to put Angela, Kenny, and Rubina on the block. Joseph asks what about Mackenzie. And Cedric says that his main worry is renoming someone. Again, not realizing America will do that. Joseph tells Cedric that Brooklyn and Rubina are the biggest threats to the collective. Cedric wants to have a meeting with the collective and says if everyone in the collective is not okay with Rubina going up as a pawn, then he won't use her. They both agree that Kenny should go this week. Cedric then talks to Kimo. He lets Kimo know that everyone in the collective is safe and that Angela and Kenny are a 
officially going on the block. He just needs a third person to be a pawn. He would prefer that person be someone outside the collective. Cedric then considers putting Joseph up and goes to find him. He asks Joseph if he'd be okay with being a pawn this week. Joseph flat out says, no, you're not doing that. He said his reasoning is because here on out, every person that becomes HOH will just use him as a pawn and he doesn't want that. After Joseph leaves, Cedric speaks to Live Feeders. He says he was really banking on Joseph being the pawn this week and now he just doesn't know what to do. By this time it's like 4 a.m. and everyone is in bed except for Mackenzie. She is found in the bathroom crying. Not sure what that is. I could not keep my eyes open anymore. And that's your update. I'm going to go catch myself up right now and tomorrow morning we'll find out who the nominees are. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.